name is Mark Nolan, and I'd just like to take a second to tell you about a new company I've just formed called Eden Snakes. It's a company that's going to provide the customer, you, with the healthiest, best looking, uh, friendliest snakes uh, found on the captive market today. Although this is a newly formed company, I'm not new to snakes. I've kept a variety of pets for many years. I have kept, bred, and even caught snakes in the wilderness for well over 20 years now. A big thing our company just did is get a license from the state to keep, sell, and breed captive snakes. So that's a big feather in our cap here at Eden Snakes. Internet sales are good, but you know the snakes I have, uh, you know, at, at, at the value they're at, uh, shipping is tough. I mean, shipping is no less than 50 bucks. I mean, you know, shipping them across the country. As long as you, you know, some people will skimp out and may not put the right heat or, or cool packs in them. You know, I never risk a snake's health, so I, I spend the money in good shipping. I want to meet, you know, uh, the buyers face to face, and, you know, make sure my snakes are going to a good home and make sure they're happy with the animals. We have. Uh, Hognose and king snake, a couple of different types. Um, for the king snakes, we have some Mexican black kings. These these Mexican blacks I have are solid black, absolutely huge. Both the male and the female are, are well above four feet. They're abnormally big. Uh, I have some blotched kings. Kind of got them in a trade. And now the hognose, real popular right now, taking off like crazy. I have um I have uh, western hognose, some albinos full albino babies and some uh, head albino. So that'd be really good. Um, people who want an albino or breed them, you know, might not have the money to get my head, you know, just carrier of the albino gene. So it gives you a couple different price ranges, but uh, good snakes. So great pets, fun, extremely popular. Even people who don't like snakes like these snakes. So a kid wanted to get rid of his little baby ball python. He found the guy who was trying to get rid of his Pueblo milk snake. And, uh, but he wants to trade it for something. So I reached out to him. I said, hey, if I had a ball python, would you take the trade? He said, yeah. So I called the kid back with the ball python and said, uh, if you deliver it, I'll take it. He did. I bought it. So now I'm on my way to take that ball python to the guy with the milk snake and make the trade. This guy that we're going to uh, said he's, he's more of a collector, really more into lizards and snakes. He said basically he just wanted something different than what he had, and hopefully it's friendly. And this little this little baby snake seemed friendly to me. I had no issues with it. Rob? Hey, how you doing, Mark? Right. Nice Mark, right? Yep. All right, come on in. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I had a mouse for the bottom of the street. You can me eat. Oh, that's great. That's good, man. Real clean. Nice. He's got a scar here. I don't know what that's from. Yeah, it's a little blemish. That's all right. That's no big deal. That's real cool. Uh, did you sex him as a male? Or? I have no idea. I don't even know how to do that. Uh, looks like a male from what I see, just because it's real long, thin, tapers real gradually. Like I said, I'm just basically just a hobbyist. I just yeah. keep them for hobbies. I got the basilisk here. I guess I'm a little further than a hobbyist. I mean, yeah, definitely. I, I, I just. I don't set up anything cheap for my reptiles. I want to meet other buyers face to face and make sure my snakes are going to a good home. I always give them a nice home. And... I like it. Yeah, he's sweet. Took it right in there. I just cleaned the tank, so it's plenty clean for him. Awesome. There you go. I got your new home. Oh, he's cool. I got a heat pad under here for him. Yeah. So yep. I don't. They don't really need the light, but I nah, just I just yeah. keep it on just for show, really. Yeah, it's good. And plus, in the, in the wintertime, it's kind of cold down here, so yeah. it, it, it keeps it right about 80 on her hot side, so that's really good for her. Um, but, uh, like I said, I literally got this guy this morning. I always measure everything, as much information as I can, about the snake as soon as I get it. 39. Take the towel roll, recycle, 
going green here. Perfect. I don't always care about people, but when I do, they're my customers. 